What's going on guys, DK here with um, another tutorial for you guys. Um, so this, vi this video is going to cover um, mission briefing. So once you go to scenario, there should be a mission briefing thing. Click that and we'll get this box. And now we click new, which I'll have to add another window because this program is stupid. And once we click new, it will show this box right here that you guys can see. And we can always, like I said in the previous, we can choose for player 7 or UD strike team. Whatever um, you want to display the mission briefing to, the human player, which is us. And if you guys remember, in my first two videos, um, we, we're, we're set to player 7. So, since we're, we're the UD color white, so. So you can choose this, you can check that or this, doesn't matter. I'm gonna click player 7, because of force of habit. Click next. Get all this. And then, once we click new, It'll show this box that I need to capture again. This, and from here we can see all this. This way, speaking portrait, hide portrait, um, mission object display, w the sound which I'll get into real soon. Show portrait, text message, blah blah. All this, okay. So first thing first. Um, if you want. If you want a marine, okay, let's say since we, we'll go with this map, so we have a UED here that's it, that's an uh, Alan Shazer clone. So we want to do, we want to go to display speaking portrait. Not, no, even before that, we want to go to show portrait here. And then we're, you see the unit here? We're going to click that. And it's going to, I got to add another capture, screen capture, which shows that on the top, which I'll move right here. And then we'll click 10 units and then heroes and we'll click UED hero. Press OK. Slot number, so there's four slot numbers that we can choose, which will show this if we click this uh, slot number, which shows this huge, huge box here, which I'm gonna kind of make it a little smaller. So, s portrait slot one in is from, you know how in the mission briefing? Uh, there's four portraits from left to right Slot 1 is at the very left and slot 4 is to the very right and 2 and 3 is the middle so Let's say if I want Alan to be in the at the very right, we'll click por portrait slot number 4 Press OK Then press OK again to indicate that the UED here is going to be in the portrait OK, now we want this guy to talk a little. So we're gonna do the display speaking portrait. And uh, again, we're gonna click slot number. And then it has to match the port the short portrait that we did. So it's gonna be portrait four. And then for how many seconds? Well we let's say we want him to talk for four seconds, which is four thousand milliseconds. Same thing. Press OK. And now you're wondering, okay, so where do you type the text? Well, good question man. Click new. And it will be under text message right here. And you want to match the display the following text for how many seconds with the display talking portrait sound. So we're going to click that screen capture and we're going to set this. So it will show this big box again, which I'm going to short, make it small. Okay, so like right there, if you click number, it will show this. And we're going to match with the four seconds that we did previously. And we want to say, hi, I am UED Hero. And that's, and then, you know, you can type whatever in there, just press OK. So, so what do we have here so far? From here, we can see that there's a UED Hero at the very right of the uh, portrait in the mission briefing. And then that portrait is going to talk for 4 seconds, or 4,000 milliseconds. And then it's going to display this text, hi, I am UED Hero, for 4 seconds. And before we move on to the next guy, next, let's say if you want to add like more units talking, before we do that, we want to put a weight, man. You see this weight? That's like the duration that a unit talks for a certain, that uh, the unit, um, it's going to pause. So let's, okay, so I'll show you an example. So let's say after four seconds, um, the guy, uh, okay, so, okay, so let's say we're going to wait five seconds. So basically, this means that after when this guy is speaking for four seconds, is and then after when this happens, it means that it's gonna wait one second. 
because here's how this works. Um, these two, right? Okay, these three right here. This one, the one I unchecked. These three um start the tr the mission briefing trigger like simultaneously. So what that means is this gonna the, these three are gonna start at the same time. So it's go it's gonna talk for four seconds. It's gonna show this text for four seconds, and it's gonna pause for five seconds. What that means is that if you add another portrait, let's say like a marine or something, or let's say medic. In portrait like one towards the very left then what so what this is doing is if we're gonna show a portrait and it's gonna show it talking for four seconds with the text for like showing four seconds after that after one second cuz five my five seconds minus four seconds one second after one second it's gonna show this portrait the medic at the very left side of the mission briefing and we can do the same thing again. We'll just copy paste and we'll instead of slot four, we'll like do portrait one, show portrait one speaking for like what two seconds. And we can display it as like I don't know. Hi! Hi hi hero. And you wanna always have it like have a wait or pause for like a certain second, like doesn't matter. And then yeah, that's it. And then if you wanna make this even like like if you want the portraits to show up simultaneously then you want it to be ha you want it to have like you want the show portrait like at the very top what this is gonna do is it's gonna show these two portraits at the same time and we can also wait like two seconds after the portrait shows it's gonna wait two seconds and then it's gonna have the UED hero talk for four seconds and showing the text Hi, I am UED Hero for 4 seconds. After that, after 1 second, it's gonna have the medic talk for 2 seconds saying, Hi, Hero! Pause 3000 seconds. Go to text. And we can do like, I don't know. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. End of briefing. Voila! That's the standard mission briefing for StarCraft 1 uh, campaigns. So, yeah. Uh, Kind of, it's alright, man. It's alright. Alright, my music was kind of getting playing at the same time for some reason. But anyway, um, okay. And then, if you want to, what about the mission objectives? It's over here, and we can also like put put another text for, text saying like what? Gotta add the screen capture again. It's gonna show this box, and we can say like what, kill the Terran Dominion or whatever that we put in the UED hero must survive, you know, stuff like that. And the thing is, if we put this mission objective, and normally you want to put the mission objective at the very top of your mission briefing. And the thing is, if you put this, and if you start the game, and if you click the mission objectives in the menu, it's gonna show exactly like this. So, that's the good thing about that. And yeah, that concludes this very basic mission briefing. But we're not done yet. So for first, we're gonna save. And I'm gonna actually move my, um... The Marines a little... I'm gonna move down the red, red units a little. So, like... I don't know, we'll put, we'll put like... What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... We're gonna delete this. We're gonna move, move these units a little down. And always the start location for the for them to appear. So yeah, and that was mission briefing. And now we go to sound, very important, which which shows like this. Sound shows this. All right, hold on. Then here's another music for you guys. It shows this, and then in order to add sound, you need to import it. So if you click import. It's gonna show another file like similar to how when you're saving your map or like this and fr from there you guys well I don't know you guys have to manually okay so before that um yeah okay you know it's fine so normally um let's say let's go to hmm 
no, not enslavers. Um, let's see my maps. I have all my sounds like pre-saved here, or my extra sound that I found throughout the course of my map making. Yeah, let's do it like can't be one or something. Yeah, that sound, okay. And we want null sound too, which is gonna be very important later on. That I'm gonna show. So okay, we're gonna use these two. We're gonna you need to import these. And then in order to save these types of like files, you have to go online and then just find your own like StarCraft music pack or whatever. Just you can find it online easily if you Google it, but but or if you can also go to um enslavers, man. Like so let's okay, you know what? I'll show you guys right now actually. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna show you guys my ins uh, enslavers. So this is this is um, the map that Blizzard made, and then if you go to scenario and go to sound again, it's gonna show this. This comes with the this sound comes with this map. So you wanna if you wanna save this, you have to export it. You click export, and then it'll show it'll show another another um, screen. Which which shows as uh, save as and you can save it anywhere in my case I saved it in my extra sound folder so you guys can do that but throughout like m You can open up like some other like Maps that's not protected and then you can do the same like you want you go to um, Scenarios click sound get this box and then you, you have to export the sound so you can use it later on So I'm just showing you how to do that But anyway, we're gonna go back to the I'll go back to the tutorial. So we have two sounds right now: comp beep zero and null sound. And you can you can use play to have the sound. That beep beep sound and null sound is no sound, and it's indicated by the seconds here. So comp beep zero plays for 0.4 seconds, and yeah, null sound has no sound, so it's zero seconds. And this the triggers and briefing indicate how many times these sounds are playing. So let's go back to our mission briefing. So if you want to add, if you want to add um a sound like when a unit starts talking, we go to play play WAV. That's the sound the the sound file sound uh, file format. Click so after of course this is after you um imported your music. After you after you import it, when once you click that, it'll show these this box which I need to screen capture once again. Gonna show this box that we just we imported two of these already, so we can click this, test the sound in here, and it, it, it indeed like has that beep beep sound, and yeah, and it also you can read add sounds to your maps using the sound manager located okay on the scenario. That's which is what I just showed you guys with the uh, enslavers. Click OK, press OK, move the move this up to preferably like somewhere over here, like somewhere between like. It can be before show speaking animation, or it can be in between, like this way of following text or something like that. So what this means is that first of all, there's gonna be a, okay. So I'm gonna add another two seconds here. Once the mission briefing starts, it's gonna have the objectives: this kill the terrible minion, blah blah blah. T two seconds later, medic and the UED hero portrait shows up at the very left and right, respectively. Two seconds later, it's gonna play this. It's gonna play this sound, and then it's gonna have the UED guy like having a talking portrait for four seconds, and you and rest is history. That's what we did. We can do the same thing for the medic. Like put it here, and then the medic's gonna also do the beep beep sound. So yeah. All right. So another music rolling in, and yeah. So that's it, man. And if you're wondering, uh, what about, um, what about, you know, once we do end the briefing, what what happens to the portraits? Do they automatically disappear? Nope, you have to go to, you have to go to hide portrait. And you have to hide the portraits respectively that you show. So, like, for medic, if you want to hide the portraits at the end of the mission briefing, you want to do this. Hide portrait and slot one. That's going to remove the medic. And same thing for the Allen, the UED hero. So, yeah, and then preferably you want to do this like before the end of mission briefing, so like that. And you want, and then for better, um, 
formatting you can like put like another extra second there so and then it's gonna show and the and the briefing thing whatever and if you wonder what about on um, transmission so this is the culmination of both hyper of both display speaking portrait play WAV file and text message all in a one single action so okay so we're gonna okay we're gonna save we're gonna do that and then hmm actually how should I how should I do this I I am you need a hi you know and uh I wanna say like joke JK I'm kidding I'm kidding and then let's make this like what four seconds okay after that we want to use a transmission buff some the reason why I don't use transmission unless you have a record you, you do your own recording is that it doesn't work as your original thing it's gonna work so I'm gonna show you an example of how it actually works so we want to go to let's see um, let's test with our marine. Um, let's see which one's good. All right, right here. We gotta move. We gotta move, and let's see. Um, who the hell are you? Hey, who the hell are you? All right, so we're gonna use these two for our transmission. So let's go back to mission briefings, and then we're gonna do a marine. So we're gonna show a mar portrait of a marine in like slot one. In the third slot, I guess. Then after another one second, just for consistency, this time we're going to use transmission. And it, of course, it has, to, it has to match the portrait thing. So since we selected um, slot 3 for Marine, we're going to do that. And then we can click the WAV file. We got to move. move. And the set that. So here's the thing. There's three things here. Set, add, subtract. When you're doing a custom, like, a voice, fully voiced, um, WAV sound, just set it to add, click OK, and add zero milliseconds. What this is, is that, the we gotta move, which is like what? Which is like two seconds, it's gonna, it's gonna play exactly two seconds here. So if you did like set to like zero seconds, it's gonna set to it's gonna it's not even gonna do it's not even gonna even if you type something it's not gonna show. But of course it's gonna play the we gotta move. So basically when we're doing this, um you wanna kind of I, I don't know when you have your own custom voice uh sound file just put that in there, slap it in there after you import it. Add zero milliseconds, which means it's gonna play the whole length, and then you can say we gotta move. And the good thing about using transmission is that you don't need to match, you don't need to put weight because it automatically does it for you. So, so we can like go back, we can like like instead of like waiting, like let's say if the sound was like two seconds, and if you wanna wait one one more second, we don't need to put three seconds. We can actually just put one second here. And then we'll put, hey, who the hell are you? Hey, who the hell are you? Okay, and yeah, we're gonna do that. Yep, and that's, and that's basically it. And then, of course, after another second, we're gonna hide the Murray portrait. Bam, man. Bam, that's easy. And before I start, if you're wondering, oh, DK. Can we do that for our um, marine? Yeah, we can sure do that. Uh, let's say you the marine talks. So let's go to triggers. Uh, so right here, remember the second video where I showed let's get them boys, but it didn't really like indicate which marine was talking. Now we can do it with the help of the transmission. So here's the here's the here's the rundown. So let's see. Go to the. Alright. Oh, I forgot to add screen, huh? Alright, sorry guys. Alright. Let me add that. I'll, I'll backtrack for you guys. Screen capture triggers. Remember this, guys? The second video? 
Or was it th the first video? I don't know. So over here, we're gonna... Um, remember this? Oh, okay, gosh. I gotta... I gotta add more screens. Remember this? We did this. Remember all this? In the second video, I think? Like, where he said, all oh, the Marines gonna talk, saying, let's get them, boys. Now we can use transmission to do the same thing, and it's gonna indicate which Marine actually talked, because if you use this, it won't actually indicate oh, which unit actually talked. It won't like do the the little circle green pinging whatever like you know what I mean? Like you know in the dark core how like there's a text message? The guy obviously didn't use, the map maker obviously didn't use this, this transmission box which I need to screen capture again for you guys. This. And this is kind of similar to mission briefing except that it has a location here. But that's why we put this location, UED Marine Talks, if you guys can kind of see over here. So what's the rundown? We're gonna do, we're gonna click this. Screen capture specific unit, it's gonna show this. Once we click the unit, we're gonna have the Marine talk. so we're gonna obviously select the Marine. And then we're gonna put the sound, that sound like what, just let's say, let's, let's, let's do, let's just put it like a copy. And then for this one, you don't, you have to set it, you have to put offset. Cause there's, cause if you put add zero, it's gonna play for like 0 0.4 seconds, even if you put like some kind of a long text. So we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna set it to, so let's say if, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's say if the Marine is talking for like, uh, what did the original marine say? Let's get them boys. Okay, I'm gonna copy paste this to make it faster So okay, not that Go to transmission go to this is all showing correctly Marine We're gonna do a copy We're gonna have this marine say the same thing from before. Let's get them boys And it's gonna be for three seconds Or three mil three thousand milliseconds but we're not done yet. We can't click OK because we need a location. So there are three. So we made three location boxes. The anywhere is default indicates the whole map, the entire map area. The look like you can imagine anywhere as the whole size of the map, a big ass location box. All right, not this song. Let's play this song now. Okay, anyway. But we don't want to do that because it's gonna like randomly choose at the very top left of the unit. So if you want to be specific, like let's say if you want armors to say that, then we're gonna have to make a we're gonna have to make a location box that you guys can kind of see over here. And then we're gonna click um okay. First of all, I need to screen capture this again. Jeez. It's gonna show this once we click the location. And it's gonna show like these anywhere, Dominion Group, UED Marine Talks, we're here. So the these three thing, the Dominion Group, UED Marine Talks, we're here, we we, we made it. But the anywhere is always given default. But we want our Marine to say something. So we're gonna have to make a location box that we did, which is called UED Marine Talks. And we're gonna select UED Marine Talks. Okay. And now we are ready, except we need to do a set, which which shows this box, which did I not screen, screen capture this too? It's going to show this huge ass box. And like I said earlier, um, you want to like, you have to set it because we're using um, just a comp beep. So we're going to set it to three. So even if the sound wave is like less than one second, it's going to still show this text text for three seconds and boom and now we don't need to even use it so we can just uncheck it so we can just put that up here and yeah man, that's that's it and another good thing about using transmission is that we don't need to put a weight anymore like you guys here so so over here you guys can see like oh let's get them boys and then after one second later because these these um, three triggers like run at the same time so after 
the marine talks for three seconds and have this text for like for how many seconds? After four th four seconds later or one second after the marine finished talking, it's gonna go to this mission objectives. But now, we're, since we're using a transmission, we don't need. We can just put. We can actually put the specific one second like that. I know it's kind of confusing, guys, but you, you guys can get used to it by two hero. And yeah, man, that's basically it. So let's start, man. I'll test this, man. Save that. Okay. Yeah, this guitar cover is so good. Okay, and now we will go to our tutorial map that I am gonna show you guys. Okay, up one level uh, under my maps. When when will I, when will I ever finish my impending do camping? Who knows? Oh, and I forgot to do this, which I'll show in our next video, or whatever. But along with how to change this, the type. But I'm gonna stop the music for a second, guys, so you guys can hear the mission briefing. So we're gonna start now. Boom! Kill the Terran Dominion, you either must fight. Shit. Hi, I am UED Hero. Four seconds. One second later. Hi, Hero. Two seconds. One second later. End of briefing. JK, joke. One second later. Marine shows up. Perfectly. Perfectly done. That's mission briefing, guys. And and then of course uh, this objectives thing. Like in the pro the previous video, we. So let's start first. Yes, all that right now. Let's get on, boys. I'm I'm, I'm a research it. So Ch check this marine, okay? You see that green thing right now? That's how it works. And this is the mission objective that we did, but. It's kind of different from so the mission objectives follows from your mission briefing, but you can actually manually set this in the trigger too. But yeah, it's gonna def it's gonna use the default mission briefing or uh, mission objectives, but you can change that. And the reason why the mission objective that shows in this text box here is different is because that's how I just used in the text box. This this isn't really this is just for. Um, just for fancy's sake and whatnot. So you, you guys can like actually like compare like in the previous video with the display text text on um, portrait, the marine actually did talk, but it didn't have that little green like blinking indication that which unit actually talks. So yeah, I mean you know just that's basically it, man. So I'm gonna restart again, and you guys can see again. Yeah, see that marine. That's because there's a location box that we did. And the location box always prioritizes. So if there's a green box like here, like here, it's gonna prioritize over here, like your top left. So yeah. So if let's say if there's a location box here, and then let's say if it's not gonna randomly choose like like these uh, five marines, it's gonna always prioritize whichever is close to the top left. So in this case it will be this marine that, that talks, but you get the idea. So if you want a very specific marine to talk, let's say this marine, then you can make a small little location box like this and have that marine talk. But yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. This is it, man. This was... I hope you guys know how to do the mission briefing now with this tutorial and how to do it in actual game. But yeah, it's pretty easy, guys. Yeah, it's all it's a matter of you know, test. It's like, you know, trial and error, but... Anyway, next video I'm gonna do AI script for your computers and whatnot, and how to do alliances, how to change map type, and all that. But thanks for watching, guys. This was DK signing out.